citizens wishing to be heard, our first citizen is Mr. Michael Knoll. If you would please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Good evening, uh, Chairman uh, Slaughter and Commissioners. I have some things. That I'm, my name is Dr. Michael Knoll. I'm a citizen uh, here in, this, in the city, as you all well know. And I would like to hand out uh, two um, pieces of paper for your information. If that's you possible. hand them to Ms. Dick, please. <coughs> Uh, there should be enough copies for it. I'm basically here tonight to speak on behalf of KLVB, Keep Lounge and Valdosta Beautiful. If I could please ask all the members and the audience who are here in support of KLVB to stand for me, that would be wonderful. Thank you. I've only, honestly only gotten involved with KLVB uh, at some point uh, last please. fall. Y'all go ahead and sit back down. Thank you. My uh, colleague, Dr. Carl Hand, retired and moved to New York State, and I always like to get involved in the community because this community has dear to me and to my family. I uh, do know that on occasions we may have disagreements about one thing and the other, but in the end, when it comes to such matters as the environment, I think we all are on the same page because we ultimately want to make sure that our children and grandchildren are inheriting a, a planet from us that is worth living on. As I was doing research on KLVB, as I got uh, more involved in the organization, I realized just what kind of an incredible impact KLVB has had over the years. Now, this organization has only existed for about 23 years, which actually is a fairly long time, honestly. And in these 23 years, there have been a number of programs that KLVB has been steadfastly supporting. We're talking about such uh, major events as Rivers Alive, the Great American Cleanup, Make a Difference Day, Bring one for the chipper, electronics, recycling, and so on. Uh, if you look at the numbers, the total of volunteers who have participated in the various events over the years of KLVB, these are uh, more than 13,000 volunteers, non-paid, just doing what I like to do, roll up their sleeves and get to work and trying to make a difference. During these years, they have collected uh, what amounts to more than 2,600,000 pounds of trash. Basically, that would have either stayed somewhere in the environment, may have been washed down by a creek or a river, or certainly not have added anything to the beauty of our county. This also includes uh, more than 3,400 tires. This also includes uh, various kinds of appliances that are sometimes even just left behind on the side of the road. And so when you look at all of these together, this is also why I wanted to show you these, these pictures. When we talk about numbers, they don't mean as much. But when you see the kind of involvement that KLB has had over the years, where on one hand, for example, we are working with schools to promote basically environmental stewardship. There are schools like Lowndes High School or Lomax Elementary School where you have students who are interested in, get involved in, and want to do something about the environment. And they have, because of their efforts, then also uh, been rewarded or have received some recognition for their efforts. This is perhaps one of our most important missions to educate our children who go to school about the importance of having a clean and safe environment. You also have uh, certainly uh, students themselves participating in various events and for example you have an electronic recycling event which I had the chance also to participate in now twice as well as Make a Difference Day where you have students from Valdosta State University as well as from our local high schools participate. And it's fun to be with them and to work with them. And I've actually seen quite a few people from the city and county, uh, like uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Hardy, for example, participate in those events as well. You have local businesses who are part of KLOB's efforts. We have been uh, recognized at some point for the, uh, the cleanup they do along roads. We have been recognized for beautiful business awards. Uh, you have tons and tons of citizens who help with bringing one to the chipper with Rivers Alive. And I myself got a little bit dirty just this last fall as I literally was so impatient with the dirt or the plastic or the styrofoam that was in that creek behind Valdosta State University. I found it appalling. I just simply at some point got in the water and it's like, not important, I need to get this stuff out. You also have to realize that when it's not just community and education and environmental stewardship. The important thing is also that the events that KLVB has organized through years are actually important for the county and the city because they are part of the report when it comes to the MS4 permits, which are actually very, very important too. And the Environmental Protection Division will ask for these pieces of information. What are we doing to keep our watershed, our, steward, our stormwater system clean? Is this what, what this boils down to? 
And so if you put all these pieces together, it is to me um, surprising, mind-boggling, or I cannot follow the, the decision that was made to cut the funding for KLVB at a time when we actually should probably increase the funding. So this is why I'm here tonight. I would like you to seriously look at all the work that KLOB has done over the years and to restore the funding as we've had it for the last couple of years so that we can do our work together as a community. And you all are invited to come with me and clean up the reverse tour. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You, Dr. No. Thank you, Dr. No. Yeah, Nick.